Hey guys, so today I want to talk about this AI agents, that is personal agents in your computer device. You have your web browsers and you can use this AI agent called Multion to automate any tedious tasks or booking, any search information or recommendations for your travels. You can use this AI agents for you and this is basically Google Chrome extensions that you have to install this one and before that you have to register through their Discord server which they have this link access in here. When we click into guest start page it will show you how to go through everything. So go to their Discord channel and you can just click on this icon on the top here to access their Discord. And then you go to the beta request to send a request form and you have to please fill in your true emails, true names so that you won't get banned or reject by them. Yeah, basically be very honest if you're using AI tools. So once you go to that beta request, you have this button here. So I did submit the form already and it asked me if I are interested in joining the beta and the pro and I say yes, I want to join pro. Then I received an email that gets start with this one, verify my emails, and then I registered in here and I got confirmations already. So I have downloaded this already in my Google Chrome web browser. So let's check it out with, let's bring it down this one so that we are able to see the Chrome extensions. There you go. So way better here. So as you can see on the top here, we have the Google Chrome extensions and here's the logo. Uh, this black triangle logo is the multi-on and you have to click API enable. And if you don't want the assistant appear on your web browsers, you can just click this to hide assistance. But for me, for this videos, let's try this with our API Enables and see how can we do anything with this. So click on the configurations, you'll see this very shiny bright elements showing their banner and authenticate. Okay, so once you sign into the Molly on your personal AI agent, you click authentication. And I have to input my password and my login. Okay, so once you input your login, email and password, you will go to this one like a simple tour. Now this is the first time I run this as well so I have everything the same first time fresh account with you guys. So the skills useful if you want to teach Multion about specific workflow. So this AI agents are able to do multiple workflows that you are also able to teach the AI to do stuff. So that is pretty cool thing right? So that means it got abilities to learn something new rather than just going through the large language models or any specific AI models to do any tedious tasks for you. So once we go to here now, let's go to new tab and we can try this. So keep this on. And then as you can see this welcome and we got the name of my agents called agent zero. Okay. So remember to put a multi on and when it pops up, it say, keep it. Okay, just click the keep it button. So let's see. I think I just did that. Yeah, so right here, this is the extensions page. So once you click these configurations again, you will bring you to this page and it's fresh like all fresh page. And then here we got the voice on. So talk with multi on. So this is a pretty cool stuff that the AI actually have a voiceover and talking with you just like you watching the Marvel's movies. You see Iron Man talking with his genius robot. So that is like the same thing here. Pretty cool. And once you click the back page here, you will see this main page are here. So right here, let's say, okay, let's go to their samples here. Let's say order dinner in the ingredients from Instacart to Coke Spaghetti. Let's do it. I'm waiting for the security check on the Instacart website to complete before proceeding with the task of ordering dinner ingredients for spaghetti. I'm clicking on the login button to check if the user is already logged into their Instacart account. It appears that I've arrived at a login page. Could you please provide your login credentials for Instacart? So right here, as you can see, it automatically bring my web browser to Instacart and try to order food for me. And then it pops out this login page. 
And obviously the AI doesn't know my login, so it asks me if I want to use my existing emails or I want to log in by myself here. But then this ordering food is actually doing that automations for me. And then it speak while he's doing the work. As you guys have heard about the voice from that, and it looks pretty cool. But then let's do other work rather than ordering food because I just got my dinner right now. So I don't need that. So let's try smart thing. Okay, let's tell the AI. Actually right here, I can press the microphone and I can speak with the AI as well. So let's do it together in here. Hey, actually I don't want to order food. Can you help me to find a book about learning AI? So once I finish my talk and Maldion is helping me to go to Google and find books that learn about AI. And that is pretty cool. So while I'm just speaking and he based on the search results. Based on the search results, here are a few books about learning AI that you might find interesting. One, Pearson Artificial Intelligence, a modern approach, fourth edition. This is machine learning. Four, make your own neural network. This is a practical guide for those interested in understanding and building neural networks. Five, hands-on machine learning with Sikit Learn, Kiras. On various online platforms like Amazon, if you need a link to a specific book or more information about any of them, please let me know. Okay, so once you finish with that and you can also minimize with this icon and go away and you can focus on your content on the web here. Yeah, so it does help me to find stuff on Google as well. And then it brings like a short summary in here to allow me to take a look review on this. What was the artificial intelligence? Which book does this AI recommend for me? And etc. So basically, Lots of tasks that you browse online using the web browsers, you can using these tools as recommendations for you, as search help, assistance, and it's just an AI agent for your personal assistance. That is the whole thing. So let's try something else. Let's try the logic because the logic is the most important thing for AI right now that it does need to improve or not. So let's do something like, hey, multi-on, Help me to create a formula that I want to calculate aerodynamics. Could you please clarify what you mean by help me to create formula? Are you looking for assistance with a mathematical formula? A formula in a spreadsheet program like Excel or something else entirely? Mathematic formula for aerodynamics. I am searching for a basic aerodynamics formula to assist the user in creating a mathematical formula for aerodynamics. I am navigating to the Aero Students website to access the summary of aerodynamics formulas that may contain the basic formula needed for the user's request. Okay, so yeah, right now I did not touch the keyboard anything. I am searching for a different source to find a basic aerodynamics formula to assist the user in creating a mathematical formula for aerodynamics. I'm searching for a different source to find a basic aerodynamics formula to assist the user in creating a mathematical formula. Based on the information available on the search results page, here are some key components of aerodynamics formulas that you might find useful. 1. Gravitational acceleration at a certain altitude of objects through the air. If you need more detailed formulas or specific applications, please let me know and I can provide further assistance. Okay, so what I was trying to do is if this AI agents are able to do formula, actually write the formula in the text area, but then it doesn't do that. Instead, these AI agents are going online and search aerodynamics formula for me. I cannot say this is wrong, but well, yeah, as AI assistants, it could be. Yeah. So what else you can test? Maybe you go to Amazon and then find the cheapest or the best price of something that you want to buy. And let's say I want to buy a wax canvas jacket and ask Amazon, ask Multion to go to Amazon and find me the best deal of wax jacket that is high quality and good conditions and also is affordable price. Okay, so let's ask Multion to do that. Hey Multion, can you help me to find a wax canvas jacket in Amazon that is high quality, affordable, and lifetime warranty? So here's doing it.
it is doing it right now. I'm navigating to the Amazon website to search for a high-quality waxed canvas jacket as requested by the user. I found a high-quality waxed canvas jacket on Amazon for you. It's the Huckbury Flint and Tinder Men's Flannel Lined Wax Trucker Jacket Water and Weather Resistant with a Customer Rating. Purchase the jacket using this link. Huckbury Flint and Tinder Men's Flannel Lined Wax Trucker Jacket. HTTPS www.amazon.com slash dp slash b08 L5R2C9K Help me to go to this length too. I'm navigating to the specific Amazon link provided by the user to view the Huckbury Flint and Tinder Men's Flannel Lined Waxed Trucker Jacket. I am navigating to the specific Amazon link provided by the user to assist them with their request. Okay, this is not working the link somehow, but then you can use this keyword and search on here. I'm navigating to the specific Amazon link provided by the user to assist them with their request. So yeah, the Hawkberry's wax canvas jacket right here. But then the one that from this AI agent's bringing me is the ERA 400.40. Maybe there is something wrong with their previous link structure. But then right before that, it enabled to search in here. As you can see, it enabled to search the rating of this product and how many reviews and then the price of. And it shows me that these products are able to deliver for free to my locations. Okay, that's pretty cool. So yeah, there you go. Like a lot of things that you can work on with these AI agents. So guys, try out. This is pretty cool. Things minimize a loss of workflow like tedious tasks that you want to do and things like that. And also, one thing that you can do is teaching. So add a new skills here. Remember, when we click the configurations, we bring it back to this configurations page of Multion. And actually, this is not on the website. This is right from your Google Chrome extensions right here, as you can see. So you can teach that within your web browsers. So click a new button here, book a flight on here, and then the rules. And then you can set the rules of maybe you don't want the book economy class. You want to book like a business class or a first class flight. It's up to you. So it's based on your preference after you set your preference and rules on here and then you can allow the agents to have new skills that is customized for you. So this is a very nice add-on and I decide to use that just keep it onto my web browsers here. So yeah guys try it out and I hope this inspired you. Leveraging AI tools for everyday work and more stuff can be leveraging using AI as a tools. So I will see you guys in the next videos and have a nice day. Bye.